Hi Cancer, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Cancer, this is going to be one of their true intentions in love. Hey Cancer, I hope you guys are all well. These are general reads, right? So check your moon and your rising videos. And I put a gypsy spread out here for you guys, right? And uh, I feel like it probably needs some clarification. But we're going to look at it kind of uh, generally, and then we're going to set out the tarot cards. And the present situation is the wife. I mean, clearly you're married to somebody. Maybe it's about somebody else's wife, but uh, I would think this would be you or your person, right? And uh, in the past, there was faithfulness, but the doctor is coming. The doctor is unfolding. So there's so, somebody could really be you know, physically sick, like a real illness, right? Um, but this can also be that there's some type of problem here, and the doctor, you know, this is what's unfolding. This could be, you know, a curing needs to, you know, take place. Maybe it's taking place, but it looks like there's some type of kind of illness here unfolding. The obstacle is prison. Somebody feels like they're stuck, like they're, you know, entrapped, entrapment or jailed or, you know, something like that. Uh, the man is sitting in a jail cell and he's, you know, he's uh, weeping. And then over here is the widower and this is the advice. For me, this looks like, you know, there's some type of uh, relationship here that is, like, suffering. And the answer is the widower. This looks like there's an ending here. The widower is somebody who's, who grieves somebody, right? Usually they're, it's a man and his wife passes away and he is grieving. So the widower, the answer is an ending. That's what, it, or the advice. We're going to get back to that in just a little bit, though. And let's see what we have for you, Cancer. And in the recent past... You have the King of Feathers. This is the King of Swords. And then we have... Mm -hmm. You have all these swords, Cancer. You do Six of Swords, Six of Feathers. They're the same. The King of Wands is your desire. Maybe you love uh, a fire sign. And the Ten of Cups is the Ten of Crystals. This is what you're fearing. You're So you're fearing, uh, like... You're fearing some type of instability here. Or you fear you can't have something. That's what this is saying right here. Mm -hmm. So you have courage and uh, solutions in your challenge. You're looking for some type of an answer. Yeah, I mean, when the answer or the advice is widower, this is uh, clearly you are looking for some type of a, a solution, right? Right now you're in transition. You could be right now in, tr in transition. It could be in transition with your in transition with insight, right? Like you are like going through, uh, you're going through a little bit of change here and you're moving toward insight. And this is how this is, you know, uh, showing up here. The king of swords or feathers in the recent past, you were trying to use your logic and like your logic, maybe you were thinking you needed justice here. Somebody, you, you may not have justice, right? With the prison card, the doctor and the widower. You know, maybe uh, your person is, the obstacle here is prison, but somebody could work at the prison. The doctor is here. This can be literal, right? Somebody could be a real doctor. And somebody could be a real widower, right? Maybe, you know, maybe the advice. Maybe, you know, somebody has grieved. Somebody is a real widower. Let's see, we have, and your person's energy, Cancer, is. The Five of Wands which is challenge. It could be growth as well, right? Well, this is how we grow with challenges. Yeah, nobody ever grew just kind of like living at home until they're, you know, 65. and <laughs> Right? We grow with challenges. Yeah, even though we don't like them, right? We could be even mad at our parents growing up. Like, what? You're doing, you've done this to me? You're, you know, you're not letting me do this or whatever, uh, you know, or, you know, maybe live at home or something like that. But uh, basically, challenges bring growth. They do. Any kind of challenges, romantic challenges, bring growth. And the world card, your person is uh, like ending a journey or they are fulfilling something that they want. Maybe they are celebrating. They could be celebrating something, the world, in this deck. The emperor is their challenge. This is focus and stability. So uh, I feel like you are both kind of... This person it looks like they are like closing out a chapter or, you know, kind of between worlds, like stepping into maybe a new chapter in their life. The Page of Crystals is their, is their uh, desire or their hope. So they want ideas. They want, you know, some type of discipline.
You guys are mirroring each other on some level in the fact that you're both looking for a solution. Yeah, some type of solution. And the four of crystals is going to be what they are fearing, control and security. So this person doesn't feel like they have, with focus and stability in there, they, don't, they feel like they don't, have, they don't have security. They don't. They feel like they don't have stability right now. I feel like it is because they are like kind of, you know, ending a journey and beginning a new one could be the world. And uh, yeah, this is what your person is like in transition. You are in transition, Cancer, in terms of your, in terms of your, your insight. Or your, like, your solution here, your courage. But your person is in transition literally, like physically. So let's see, let's get a couple cards here. I want to see what else we have going on for cancer and their person and uh, let's see why you are in the six of feathers and the death cards reverse so uh, you're in transition and uh, because something is not over the death card reverse like either you don't want something to end with somebody or your person is I feel like your person is ending a chapter here and maybe you don't want it to end with them or they don't want it to end with somebody else. The Eight of Swords and the Eight of Feathers is your challenge with the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. And this may be you, but you look like you were looking for solutions uh, about your relationship. And you have the King of Pentacles reversed. So this is your person most likely, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And the King of Or, somebody who is challenging your union. The King of Pentacles. Because there's challenges. This reading is about... You and your person are both being challenged a little bit different. You're looking for your insight, and they are looking for their security or their stability because I feel like you could have left them, or there's some type of they're really in, they're unstable here in terms of their their it could be their physical security. Like I don't mean you're beating them up, of course, but like you know maybe a place to live. They could be moving that type of uh, security. And let's see what else we have for. Mm -hmm. and the king of wands is going to be what you want showing up with optimism so you know you want hope here uh, or you want to do things different but this could simply be a fire sign that you want the three of swords showing up with it I just feel like you, there could be you know there could be a couple people here you are, you are dealing with and we have the six of pentacles you want ideas, innovation, like you want to know what to do about this situation, Cancer. You look like you're ending a journey with somebody or they're ending it with you. You know, I hate to say ending all the time, but this is, uh, and if it is not an ending, these are, it's a major challenge within a union, major. We have the prison card here and the doctor. So there's some type of illness or something that needs to be cured. And the obstacle is prison, like somebody feels really stuck, like they don't know what to do. Or there's nothing they can do. They can't break out of this problem, right? He's behind bars, the guy. And, you know, so let's see what uh, your fear is. The Ten of Crystals. This is showing up as this is the Ten of Cups is what it is. And, yeah, I feel like the crystals are the, are the cups. Mm-hmm. Okay, so these are pentacles. Yeah, the crystals are pentacles. I beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. So this is your first, this is the first pentacle card. This is the ten of pentacles here, the ten of crystals. I mean, the meaning doesn't change, you know, in terms of this deck, right? So what's going on here is that this is your fearing, you're fearing you're going to have this person, Cancer. This is a fear of attainment. There's third party here, three of swords, right over the six of pentacles. Something's not over with somebody. This is creating this prison, this entrapment. Queen of Cups, this is you, this is what you're afraid of, Cancer, this is you showing up right here. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. 
So you're fearing, you're worried about your like your own self sufficiency here could be you could be worried about being single, it could be that simple. Yeah, you're worried about your stability for sure. And this is the ten of uh, the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. This is what your fear is. All about your money and your stability. Your person in the past was in the Five of Wands energy, challenges and growth. Now they have the Five of Wands in this deck together. So we have the Five of Wands twice. For me, this is like uh, ten wands, right, Accumulative, accumulatively. And this means there's ten wands, which is a major burden. But this is major challenges for your person and strife and struggle. There could have been possibly Five of Wands competition in the recent past for them. They have the Three of Cups reversed. Your person was really unhappy. <laughs> and they were feeling really challenged. This person was forced to grow. The world card is what they, their current energy, the Ace of Pentacles and Temperance. Your person is, it looks like they are, with all the struggles in the past, if they are not Sagittarius, they could be this King of Pentacles here. The King of Wands is in this reading, in your fear, or in your... Mm -hmm. over the three of swords and the six of pentacles and this six of pentacles the man's giving to two people when this shows up with the three of swords this does indicate third party so here's your person cancer and they are for me they look like they are uh, the world card fulfilling a journey and celebration ace of pentacles they have a new beginning and if they are not temperance they have a new beginning with temperance because here is the king of wands here king of acorns and this is temperance and Sagittarius is the king of acorns. The emperor is their challenge with focus and stability and the fool. This person's taking a chance on this person here, Cancer. The reading could be switched, though, it could. But this person looks like they're taking a chance on somebody. And uh, they don't know if it's going to be stable. They're focusing on this, but they don't know. What they want is the page of pentacles, which is ideas and discipline and the sun card. They want clarity here about this path that they're taking. And here you are, uh, you know, you're fearing your stability here. You're feeling, you are fearing self-sufficiency, like you're afraid here that you're going to be single, Cancer. That's what this reading is. I wish I could deliver it in a, you know, a better, like, not a better way, but just, you know, I just, I'm very direct, and this is kind of, uh, I'm a Sag, so, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, uh, communicate another way. It really is. We don't go around the corner when we communicate. It's usually, bam, this is how I feel. This is this, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what else uh, they want. The Page of Pentacles, Ideas, Discipline, the Sun card, and the Eight of Cups. They want to leave. They want their clarity on how to leave, on how to walk away. Eight of Cups. This person is showing up clear here. They're looking for their... Uh, in their in their uh, challenge is focus and stability. They're looking for their they're looking for their like their focus, like their insight, their guidance. And in their fear is the four of pentacles or the four of crystals, control and security. You see, they don't have any security here, and that's what I said earlier. The king of swords, and they are fearing here that their decision is not going to bring security or control, like over, you know, over this decision, over their life, over this new beginning, Cancer. Uh, we're going to go to the extended Cancer. And um, this whole reading could be, you know, it could be switched. It's a possibility here. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody who, you're dealing with a third-party energy here. And uh, we're going to look at the solutions in the extended. We're going to continue the gypsy spread and see what these cards are really about. You know, we have the like uh, the prison, the doctor, the widower, and the wife. You're married to somebody. We're going to finish out the gypsy spread. In the past, there was faithfulness. Okay. So we're going to check this out, and we're also going to look at the issues, how this person feels about e-cancer, what's on their mind, their near future. Yeah, their near future, how they are seeing the situation, what you don't know, what they could be hiding, and their true intentions. They're all super affordable. Thank you so much, Cancer, for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.